Hosting a WordPress website on Google Cloud for free is a pretty easy thing to do today. I'm going to show you how to host a WordPress website on Google Cloud. So for that, you have to sign into your account. If you don't have an account, you just need to create one. Now, after creating an account, they will give you credit for $300 for free for one year. Now, as you guys can see, I'm at the home page. Now I'm going to click on this Google Cloud and it will take me to this page. Now, here you guys can see it is AI things. Now, this is the project actually. Now, if you can't see anything, you just have to click here and create a new project. After creating a new project, you have to click on these three lines, which will take you to menu bar and you have to click on marketplace. While in marketplace, you have to scroll down until you see this option, which is WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. You just have to click on this. You simply have to set up the computer you want. Uh, just be careful. Uh, it, the CPU, the RAM, everything depends upon your price. Uh, increasing it will also increase the price as well. Now, after that, you have to scroll down and tap on deploy. Now, you will see this page. Now, as you guys can see, this is my site URL and admin URL. Uh, after deploying, you will see these two links. Now, these two are our IP addresses or our hosting addresses. Now, there's a problem. These links are not static. So, what you have to do is you have to make them static. So, for that, you have to click on these three lines. And it'll take you to menu bar. You have to click on computer engine and then VM instances. Now in VM instances, you will see this page. Or if you have multiple websites, you will see all of these uh, websites here. You just have to go to your website. And then you have to, you'll see this page. You have to scroll down until you see this edit network interface. You just have to add network and you just have to add the IP address. Now after adding the static IP, your server should be live with the static IP. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Hope you guys find this video helpful.